Mason here from the NAM show in Nashville 2017. We're here to talk about a couple of our new products that we're going to be coming out for the remainder of the year. Right here, we have the T-Drive, which is based on the Trainwreck Express, which is kind of like a high gain sort of plexi that has the really percussive sort of power amp style distortion. And we used an actual Trainwreck Express to voice this pedal with. So that's going to be something that's going to be coming out in the next few weeks here. And we also have right next to it the Ultraphonics Overdrive, which is based on a 90s era Dumble Overdrive special that we had access to. And it's pretty much the closest we were able to get to that amp uh, you know, through a typical backline and really get it 90% close to what the real deal does. So we're really, really pleased to have that uh, come in soon as well. And then, of course, we have all of our other standards, the Steel String Clean Drive, based on the original Dumble Steel String Singer, the classic Vertex Boost, and then all the way on the right side, our Dynamic Distortion. And then if you look up top, we have our battery power supply, which houses four 9-volt batteries. And this is for the players that believe that their distortion devices sound best on a carbon battery. Guys like uh, Eric Johnson and Michael Landown, Josh Smith swear by the tonal qualities that the batteries have versus a regular DC power supply. So this is powering all of our overdrives here on this particular pedal board so that we can get the, all the advantages of that. Thank you. 
So all the way on the left here, we have what's called the Real Echo prototype. And the Real Echo is called that because it actually has a, a reel-to-reel -reel tape inside of it. We're attempting to make an actual tape echo in a stomp box size format that's not digital or modeling. It's an actual reel-to-reel Echoplex style pedal that has the same preamp as an Echoplex the solid state version. It actually has a tape. So this was a crazy expensive prototype project. We don't know whether it will come out or when it will come out, but uh, this is the first attempt at it and uh, it's working so far. So that's pretty cool. And then all the way here on the right, we have the 5E Lux prototype. And this is kind of based on a, a really low wattage clean sound, not even like deluxe, but like Harvard, like a five watt sort of Fender tweed sound. So it breaks up really fast. It's really farty, but in a really cool, pleasing way. Then moving over to this board, we have the Tone Secret Overdrive, which is a combination of a couple of different pedals. It's got the Roger Mayer Voodoo One style circuit, which is kind of rat-ish, cascading a Tube Screamer style circuit that then goes into the preamp section of our steel string. So it's got all three of those elements. There's a series parallel switch internally and then we have five knobs to control the volume, treble, mids, gains, and presence of the entire three circuits, and it blends them all kind of equally. And then to the far right, we have the Clean Machine Compressor. We've been prototyping this with uh, studio musician Michael Thompson, and Michael Thompson loves the sound of the Stratoblaster preamp that guys like Lowell George or Jerry Garcia used on their uh, guitars built on board. So this has it right on the input section, hits a Unity Gain Strata Blaster, then goes into a Dynacom style compressor. And then after that has a mid-range boost to kind of bring back the sparkle and sheen that sometimes gets dulled through the compression circuit. And then all the way at the end, we have an Octave Proto, which is kind of loosely based on the uh, Prescription Electronics Clean Octave Blend pedal. And it has a little bit more fuzz to it than that. It's not quite as clean, but it does a great job of kind of pairing with other distortion pedals to kind of trigger the, the kind of fuzz facey kind of thing that that pedal does when it's paired with the drive. But it also has the ability to be articulate even with cording, which a lot of the octave style pedals can't do very well without getting into full breakup. Yeah, thanks for taking a look. And if you'd like to learn more, you can go to vertexeffects.com and see our full offerings of what's out now and what's coming soon.